Okay, I'm back, and this is kind of a dual. I like making videos that encompass two different things. So, so if you want to do one, you can. If you want to do both, you can. It's up to you. This is cream soup. It's great. How to make gravy and how to make cream soup. So you can take it right from gravy, right into cream soup if you want. So I'm adding the vegetables to make the soup. This is a great. Uh, also, if you have any frozen chicken, frozen... Um, anything meaty that's frozen that you want to add into this and if it's already cooked add it in thawed out and then add it in because you don't want to I mean you're not in the it's already cooked so here's celery stir it in and then let's get some uh, cabbage in there if I can grab it. So we're just going to take cabbage, take some one, two. That's good enough. I'm going to overwhelm it. You cut it up, just chop it coarsely. No rhyme or reason. So chop this way, chop that way. Let's add that in. I like cabbage because it gives it a little bit of a a little bit more filling because this is basically a vegetable cream soup I'm making right now. Um, so we'll stir that in, get it submerged, and we're going to turn that back up to medium because we want it to cook in between medium like medium low because we don't want it to. Now broccoli, just cut off the end, and the thing with broccoli is you can you can break these off and leave them this size and just chuck them in or you can do like I do you just get in here with a knife it's better to use a small knife like this to chop stuff because then you have a little bit more control than the big the big knife's good but it depends what you like I just like using a small knife but get in here no rhyme or reason don't worry about doing it wrong but just start cutting cutting it off into small pieces, just start cutting down. Don't don't try to go, oh, I'm doing it wrong. Just start cutting. And when you're cutting, try to keep this, the pieces basically all the same size. So I got like, there's a little bit of piece in there. So it's you're like See how they are? They're just kind of like random. Put it in. And even with all this like little little sprouts here, get that in too. Don't waste any of it. And if you want, this is also a uh, this is also a great recipe if you want to put onion in a white onion or a red onion. Get that those two in. I think that'll be enough. So let's stir that in. Yummy. Now you can see it, sorry. And then I got some rice. I got some rice over here. Oh, and turn off that burner. Dang, I didn't see that. Okay. So I got some rice over here I cooked. You see this? Ah. And um, so we're going to have rice cream soup, which is really good and really yummy. I don't eat cream soups that much, so it's when we eat it, it's like a special thing because it is really rich. Let's see what's, what timer is it, okay. Um, another thing I like to do, I can find my ice cube trays. Ooh. Is my ice cube trays in front of Hey Chris, have you seen my ice cube trays? Mm -hmm. No? Ooh, oh, okay. They're incognito. Um, everything in my kitchen is incognito. Oh, there they are. Or oh, I can't reach them. Okay. Okay, ice cube trays. Now you're gonna ask me, 
Why am I talking about ice cube trays? I probably mentioned this before, but you got this the rest of this broth in here. And remember, cool it down before. Always cool soup broth before you add it to any plastic because it, it will it will absorb the plastic flavor and that does not go well. So what I like to do is I like to make a mess. Get some ice cubes, make an ice bath. I'm running out of ice. bowl in there. Pour your soup in and it'll cool quicker. Check your soup. It's cooking up fine. Looks really delicious. And again, if you don't want this to make a veg if you don't want to have this a vegetable soup, then basically you know, you can put meat in here if you want. Cooked meat, cooked meat. Okay, and the thing is, is now, if you're gonna make a cream soup, I'm making a cream soup for two people. But if I make a lot of cream soup, like say for leftovers, what I like to do is, because usually I don't add the vegetables to the soup. That's, I'm only doing it today because I'm only making enough for, for us. And, um, but if you want to make the cream soup, cook the vegetables separate in another pan. And what ends up happening is you spoon the cream soup over the vegetables. And then you can add, if there's any of this left, you just add them into a soup cube tray. And then you'll have cream, you'll have, I mean, you'll have, this is the cool part. <laughs> you'll have gravy. Oh, of course, when they're done frozen, take them out and put them in a plastic bag or, or um, airtight sealed container. But you'll have gravy soup cubes. You'll have stock soup cubes. You'll have broth soup cubes. You'll have, I mean, think if everything in your soup has been used in the same context. Like there's not like one of the, the gravy cubes has um, a habanero uh, paste or something and it was just, just too overwhelming, right? But the thing is, take all your soup cubes after you have a big huge bag of them, put them in a pot with some broth. You put broth at the bottom so they don't burn. Put like a cup of broth at the bottom if you're going to uh, uh, defrost uh, gravy. Um, but what you want to do is you make the most, I mean this soup is gravy, stock, everything it's awesome it's like so flavorful if you want to knock the socks off your thanksgiving guest do that i swear you will have people going what kind of gravy did you make this year i've never had anything like that they never will have anything like that because they can't get anywhere else this is like it's over the top gravy There's, soup has so many possibilities. So let's check our carrots. See how they're going. If I can skewer one. There we go. Little, it still crunches when I cut. So we're going to let it cook a little bit more. And again, um, the um, cabbage is really good too because it, cabbage can cook forever and it's really coarse, so it takes a long time to break down. So let's see how we're giving a spin. Stir it. Stirring it also releases the heat from the bottom because the heat rises. So. Ah, getting close. See, works pretty fast. You can, after you make your stock or your broth, you can leave it out on the counter for an hour. That's perfectly fine. I like to transfer the, um, leave them out for an hour. And then I like to transfer it to another pot. Yeah, it makes a lot of mess, but what you're doing is, when you have the stock 
in one pot. The pot's holding all the heat. See, when I, when I poured this into here, most of the heat was on the outside of the, in the pan, right? So this has no heat. That's good. Now remember, this is on medium, uh, low, medium, low. So let that cook a little bit longer. Let's get the ladle out and make our soup cubes. And the thing is, no matter how little, again, if you, if you are making soup, always Put your fixings in the bowl and then label the soup over over your um, your fixings. So that way, if you need to use your soup broth for something else, it's there. Now again, it's like usually, oh, wow, and make sure you're watching so you don't spill any of the broth. Let me get this in the freezer. I even have more. I have lots more. I make, I make, I always have a lot of broth in the, um, and the, okay, in this way too, if you want to use a couple, say you just want a couple for um, cooking meat or something, let's say you're making ground beef and you need some liquid on the bottom to keep it from sticking, add five ice cubes into the meat and it'll look watery, but as you cook it, it'll, it'll, it'll flavor up really good. I got, I got droopy ice cream cube trays. Okay, let's get that second one in. A little bit more. Turn it down a little. Now let's check our, or check our um, food. Now you'll notice that some of the, some of the, um, if you let it cook for a while, it'll develop a skin on top. And if you shut it off, it'll develop the skin. That's perfectly fine. Just stir it back in. That's just the way what it does. It's just trying to secure one of these. I think this is done. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't scare one of these things at all. Not, yeah, this is, yeah, see, I can't, <laughs> help! <laughs> okay, this is done. So turn it off. And let's get a nice bowl here. Got our rice. Get us. Spoon full of rice. Get a spoonful of vegetables. Put that over there. And voila! You can see this and put down a little bit. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, 